first of all, you take your yarn and you, I have the ends here, and you wrap it around the holding tack, one complete circle. It doesn't need to be really tight or wrapped a lot of times, just enough that it will hold your yarn for a few minutes. Then you take your yarn between the first two pegs and you're going to wrap in a counterclockwise motion around each of the pegs. So if you can see here, my yarn that's going from peg to peg is on the inside of the loom. If your yarn is on the top here, then you're wrapping the wrong direction. So just make sure that you wrap each of the pegs counterclockwise. As I'm doing this, and I'm going to go all the way around the loom, as I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you a little bit about yarn choices. Um, right now I'm just using a basic worsted weight four ply yarn. Um, you can buy it at any department store or whatever, and I'm using two strands. This is a, a pretty popular way to do a basic, a basic knit hat. Now when I first start, when I first thread the loom, I'm going to go around the loom twice um, because I want to have two rows of yarn on each of the pegs. So I've gone around once, now I'm going to go around again. This is the only time that you're going to go around the loom twice. Because from here on out you will always have one row to start out with. If you can see I use my left hand, no, my left thumb to kind of hold on to that yarn because then it won't unravel. And for this demonstration I'm just holding the loom in the air but you can rest it on your legs or on the table or anything like that. So now as you can see I have two rows of wrapped of wraps around each of the pegs. So I'm gonna, oops, so I'm gonna take that yarn now and I'm just gonna kinda catch it on that holding tack so that it will stay while I do my knitting. And I want to point out too that our holding tack is um, actually placed inside of the loom so if I have a thicker yarn I can slide that tack out or push it in closer if I have a smaller um, weight of yarn which is great because it really holds the yarn it doesn't slip off. So now once I have them all done I'm going to take my knitting tool and I'm going to grab that bottom wrap and I'm going to hook it up over the top of the peg and then I go to the next one. It's that simple and you just go all the way around the loom. I grab the complete wrap. There's two strands here on my demonstration on this hat today of yarn. If you have a bulky yarn you might use one strand. If you have a really lightweight baby yarn you might have four or five strands. And you just nip those right up over the top to the back side of the peg. This groove right here in the peg is really convenient um, because your hook will just go right underneath that yarn and just pull it right up over the top. It's easy to get a hold of that. Now as you can see I've gone all the way around the loom so before I do my wrapping again I'm going to make sure that that row is um, all the way at the bottom of the pegs. That way it's ready for me to take my yarn back off my holding tack and start the wrapping process again. It's that easy. It's basically a two-step process. It's just wrapping and then knitting off with your pick tool.